Could this 300,000 year old skull found in China be the missing link that the whole scientific world was looking for this whole time, David? Let's talk about it. Yeah, I was trying to tell you the whole time, but nobody wanted to listen until I found the fossil. Um, Andrew, the uh, headline reads, has scientists discovered a new species of human ancient skull belonging to a child with no chin that lived 300,000 years ago suggests our family tree needs another branch. Basically, the science needs to be updated due to this skull found in Hualongdong. Yeah, and this was found around Hubei, not too far from Wuhan and Changsha and Anhui, if you guys know the area of China. Um, anyways, guys, I think to... I'm trying to understand it because there's a lot of scientific jargon in this, but essentially, David, correct me if I'm wrong, there's like three main branches of like humanoidic kind of human-like creatures, people, like there's the Neanderthals, the Denisovans, and the Homo sapiens, which are us. And then this thing that they found is apparently they think in between Homo sapien and Denisovan, and that's unlike anything that they've found before. Yeah, and I looked up some photos where they tried to like recreate what this like middle hybrid might have looked like or a Denisovan. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Definitely some of them look Asian, at least from the photos. <laughs> I'm not sure. They um, look adorable, man. Yeah, shout they out to them, man. Like, hey, man, that's, that's, I don't know I, if that's what we came I'm from. I'm glad that they uh, gave them smiles because now I I, I feel I'm uh, humanizing them a lot more. Um, and why is this going viral right now? I would want to say it's more going viral in the science reddits and more like that side of the internet. You know what I mean? This is not like celebrity gossip. This right, is like right, right. more isolated. But but is it relevant? Because as much as people want to talk about aliens in 2023, there's still that uh, archaeology just Indiana Jones vibe where people are still trying to figure out where we came from. Yeah. Uh, we're going to get into it, guys. Lots of comments, lots of takeaways. Please hit that like button right now, especially if you enjoy the news and the commentary that we provide. Uh, David, to me, I think it's partially going viral because of the geopolitics behind it, because it's found in China. Although it was like confirmed by a team from the UK and Spain and all these different people, it's not like China, like the Chinese scientists are making this up. But I guess like, Basically, it just goes back to like, man, China's just making everything from like your cheap Amazon gadgets to your DJI drones to viruses that mess with the world. So now they got these old skulls too. Yeah, and I think the biggest shame is that nobody's talking about how good Wuhan Rugan Mian is. The uh, hot cold. Hey, man, I'm telling you. That's, that dish is delicious, man. Yeah, they were probably like, yeah, after we found the, the bones, we found some special rugan To celebrate, they ate the noodles. Um, Real quick thoughts before we get into the comments section. Andrew, I think science and theories, they always change, right? Because there's always new information. But it kind of feels like, did we just freeze from since we were in high school, but now it feels like it's kind of wanted to get updated like because because you know everybody just got into conspiracy theories and like stopped caring about the past yeah i think people are looking more into history and conspiracy theories of history now that i think that you're always uncovering little bits of history that we didn't know before that do they kind of change history they might change how you perceive history right there is new history being found all the time so i guess like does this change how people feel like if previously we thought that the oldest skull was found 300,000 years ago in Africa, what does it mean that this skull is that old and it's found in Asia? So does that mean it's like dated back even farther? And like, what does that mean? Does it mean that uh, Asians had their like, the gene pool and the genetic diversity is like different or I don't know. I don't know. Right. You you let me know in the comments down below. What does this mean to you? I kind of need some help interpreting it. Right, to right, be right. honest. I think China's in a really interesting situation because it's almost like, like you said, people are viewing it almost as a Blade Runner type like, ancient modern place but then it still just got stuff that's super old old yeah. you know like it like it has like some of the oldest uh government buildings it has some of the oldest like uh coins you know, you know the, yeah, the, the, coins. the monetary system it has the like oldest like artifacts and noodles it has the oldest like uh, skulls of like clearly this missing link you right, know right right i mean it's just interesting you know you look at chong cheng the guy is like a mixture of old and new anyway let's get in the comment section somebody said when are we going to admit that just a horny alien visited Earth a long time ago, had sex with a primate, and we are the result. I don't know. I, like, the whole alien theory, it doesn't make sense to me because it's like, what is so alien about the humans? Like, we're made up of the exact same thing that the Earth is, that other animals are, so how how are we? Are we just the iPhone 14 version or iPhone 28 version? You know? I think it's more likely, if anything, that aliens gave us some technology versus we're all part aliens. Like, I, that makes zero sense to me. Somebody said, I'm surprised that this was found in China and not Japan because the eye holes on this skull 
look big enough to be anime eyes. <laughs> someone said, I believe it, man. It's got a really flat face, and they found that in Hualong Dong. That sure looked like a Hualong Dong skull to me. Um, other people were talking about it having a recessed chin. Is that just due to inbreeding? Because a lot of people, this guy said, I'm from North Georgia. A lot of people got that same chin over here. Uh, <laughs> they must have been mouth breathers, right. not nose breathers. And uh, other people were saying, you know, I noticed a lot of British royalty because of the inbreeding amongst the royals. They also have recessed chins. Ooh. Yeah, so just a lot of talk on recessed chins. I don't know, man. but is this pseudoscience or real science? Or do does do a lot of internet comments, they take like a little bit of science that they know and then extrapolate it? Right. Everybody uh, kind of wants to be a scientist. Somebody says, we have not even scratched the tip of the iceberg as far as science goes. We don't really know. I mean, we like kind of have an idea, but I'm sure it's going to develop so much more with new technology. Uh, how much do we even know about everything? Or You know, it seems like we kind of froze with the theories from the 80s and the 70s, right? Yeah, new history being found all the time, man. So uh, this one comment was interesting. Someone said, what if we aren't even the newest adaptation? We're just the adaptation that flourished. So there could have been, they're suggesting, a more evolved version of us, but they just didn't make it. Mm. And that's not, like, the most evolved version doesn't always mean that they're going to withstand everything like right 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 i guess i don't know oh that's, that's a good point to be honest man i guess they would have even had smaller heads right because if the if the head shrank from denovin to neanderthal to humanoid who knows somebody said i remember back to my college days and asians in my many math classes set the curve for the class scoring much higher marks than everybody else they were likely crossbred with advanced aliens 300,000 years ago and have better evolved minds and a desire to master whatever they put their focus on. Uh, I believe that Asians are aliens. And then, of course, there was a bunch of comments. It's funny because it goes with Andrew Schultz's theory earlier where it said, uh, Asians are clearly the offspring of aliens because they have the biggest brains, but they also have weak bodies, soft skin, and soft voices. Yeah, you know, uh, I guess it's funny how anything that is different than what the Western people see, it is seen as alien. I'm sure at some point, these white people looked at black people from Africa as something very different too. But now, they are the gods of basketball. <laughs> Somebody said, uh, why can you believe, can you believe in God and science at the same time? Because people said, if this goes 300,000 years ago, but a lot of people think the earth is only 6,000 years old, then is religion just punching the air right now? I mean, I think if you are the religious person that believes the world's only 6,000 years old, then you were already had to deal with a lot of other science that you didn't agree with. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what do, does the existence of aliens mean you can't believe in God? I don't right. know. What about dinosaurs? Who knows, man? Somebody said, uh, how do we know that a fossil is representative of the entire species? Cause if we find uh, skeletons of Peter Dinklage and Shaquille O'Neal in the future, how will scientists know that they were from the same species? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, they're, I'm sure their skeleton structure is going to be so different. Yeah, but then their fingers would work the same. But they would just be way right. smaller. The amount of bones would probably be the same. But just the shape of their bodies are going to be so different. Right. It's good. It, listen, guys, these are questions that I actually never asked before. These are good ones. Somebody said, uh, you know, what does it mean if there was a, like another core of man, like for the Java man or something like that? Or like, you know, there's another core of man that came from Asia. Mm. Is that going to change anything? Or like, you know, does basically a rewiring of the branches uh, mean anything? I don't know. I It's so far ago, like I, some part of me almost just wants to live in the present and be like, yo, this doesn't matter, man. <laughs> like, I don't know. like, who cares what happened 200,000 years ago? Are we even, do we even care what happened 2,000 years ago? You right. know what I mean? The do, world was so different. Do some people even care what happened 20 years ago? Um, some people said, I don't trust anything coming out of China. They make stuff up all the time. No wonder why they eat bats and cats and fish heads. It's in their DNA. Oh, but did they purchase that archaeology kit on Temu? And uh, yeah, one thing you don't really see in one sentence, China and Long Dong. <laughs> uh, the internet's funny. Andrew, what are your takeaways, man? I would say I enjoy science more than your average person, whatever, you know, you want to say your average American is. But uh, even me, I'm like more future focused, right? I'm like, I'm like, yeah, it's cool, I guess. But what are the implications for now? Right. Well, honestly, a lot of people are also thinking the same thing. They want to know if this scientific discovery somehow threatens their point of view or threatens their identity. Mm. Or it's like, well, 
if it's 300,000 years old from China, does that mean they think they're better than us? Because they're not. Or like <laughs> a Chinese person could be easily thinking, yeah, well, you know, if we have the oldest humanoid, then we must be the original human as well. So right, like, right, right. I don't know. Like people are, uh, I don't know, man. It's funny to me, but I don't know what it means yet. And I don't think that it should change, obviously, anything of how you operate in life nowadays but i guess it just goes to show you that yeah we have only scratched the tip of the iceberg who knows david one of these viruses that gets melted out of permafrost my god i don't know maybe that's the, maybe that's the end of us or not or nothing maybe it's nothing um i was just thinking about some celebrities that like kind of remind me of maybe like a denovan and i was saying like jason momoa he might look like the best looking denovan Ever. You know what I mean? Like, he's like a direct lineage. Because then I was looking at this uh, Chinese celebrity who's actually very embattled and controversial right now, Andrew Tsai Shu Kun. And he looks almost like a, just like a porcelain eunuch. Yeah. So, so I was just like, man, humans can look so different. Is it due to our yeah. relationship to the Neanderthal and the Denisovan? I think people are always looking for an explanation, a simple explanation to describe why people think and look different. And I think pe that's why people want to lean into the alien thing. Right. Now, Asians are from a are aliens, or humans are aliens, and it's just like, why? Why does it have to be aliens? <laughs> like, is it too complex for people to understand that people are just different? Yeah, I don't know, man. Let us know what you think in the comments section below, guys. Obviously, you know, this is scientific news. I don't really know what the modern day application is, and maybe that's why it's staying in the scientific community right now. But keep it civil. Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.